This is question number six. We're told the line with equation y equals 10 cuts the curve with equation y is equal to x squared plus 2x plus 2 at the points a and b as shown in figure 1. The figure is not drawn to scale. In part a for two marks, we need to find by calculation the x-coordinate of a and the x-coordinate of b. So if y is equal to 10 and y is equal to x squared plus 2x plus 2, we can use simultaneous equations to write that 10 will be equal to x squared plus 2x plus 2. Solving for x, we can substitute the 10 from both sides. x squared plus 2x minus 8 is equal to 0. That looks like it'll factor. We'll have x plus 4 and then x minus 2. So we can say from this that x is negative 4 or we have x is equal to 2. So the point A will be negative 4 comma 10 and the point B will be positive 2 comma 10. So that's the first part done for two marks. We're now told the shaded region R is bounded by the line with equation y equals 10 and the curve as shown in figure one. In part B for seven marks, we need to use calculus to find to the exact area of R. We've got a couple of different choices here. What I'm going to do is just go ahead and draw this up. So if we look now, we've got this point here, A and B. We could find the area trapped under the curve from A to B. We could then consider this rectangle, we have the coordinates of those, and simply go ahead and subtract that away from the area of the rectangle. Alternatively, I could look at the line, I could subtract the curve away and integrate between A and B. I'm going to do it both ways to show the different options. So, let's start off here. What we've got then is this point here. This point is A. So we've got now the point here, which is going to be negative 4, and we can write that just here. And we've got this point, which is going to be 10. We've got now B, that's 2 just here, and this one is going to be 10. So if we look at this right here, we have a rectangle. So let's just go ahead and draw that here. So we've got a rectangle, and that rectangle is a 6 by 10. This isn't a massively accurate sketch, but it just gives us some idea. This is 6, this is 10, so this is going to have an area of 60 units squared. If I now consider integrating, what I'm going to do is integrate from negative 4 to positive 2. That will give me this shaded area right here, and all I need to do is take that away. Essentially what I'm doing is cutting this part out below the red line from our rectangle. So if I consider what I've got now, I'm looking, and I'm going to call that red area. Let's just call this now area 1. That's area 1. We can say that area 1, so writing this here, area 1 will be equal to the integral from negative 4 to 2 of our curve, which is x squared plus 2x plus 2, and we're integrating with respect to x. So if we look at this here, I'm going to write now that area 1 is equal to if we integrate x squared, we have 1 third x cubed. If we integrate 2x, we have x squared. If we integrate 2, we have plus 2x. And we're interested in this from negative 4 to positive 2. So let's go ahead and do that. We can say that area 1 at this stage is going to give me 2 cubed over 3, which is 8 over 3, plus 2 squared, which is going to give me 4, plus 2 times 2, which is going to give me 4. We're then going to subtract away. I'm going to cube negative 4, which is going to give me negative 64 over 3. Then I'm going to have now plus 16. Then I'll have minus 8. So all I'm doing is simply substituting these in. So let's go ahead and work this out. So what we'll have from here, we'll have now 8 over 3. So 8 over 3 plus the 8. And we're going to subtract from that now we will have the negative 64 over 3. So negative 64 over 3, and then we're going to have plus 8. So plus 8, and that gives me now 24. So we can say that area 1 is equal to 24. Therefore, we can say that R is going to be equal to the 60. So all we're doing is taking the 60 that we have here and subtracting now the 24. So R is going to be equal to 60, subtract the 24, and that's going to give us now 36 square units, or 36 units squared. So that's one way. I've done it that way. 
Alternatively, what we could do now is the integral from negative 4 to 2 of 10, that is the line, subtract now the equation that we had, which was x squared plus 2x plus 2. So if I do it this way, essentially what I'm doing is one straight integral and I'm subtracting the curve from the rectangle. So if we do that, I can go ahead and just write this out. So we can say now that r is going to be equal to the integral from negative 4 to 2. We're going to have on here, we're going to have 10 minus 2, which is going to give me 8. Then we're going to have now minus x squared minus 2x. So if I go ahead and integrate this, we can say now that r is going to be, and we're going to have now 8x minus 1 third x cubed minus x squared, and we're interested in this from negative 4 to 2. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to have now that r is going to be 8 times by 2, which is 16, minus 8 over 3 minus 4. I'm now going to sub, uh, substitute in the negative 4. That's negative 32. We're going to have plus 64 over 3. And then we'll have minus 60. So if we go ahead and do this, let's just do that. Uh, we'll take that. So show, I mean, you might want to write this down. So what are we going to have in here on the first one? We're going to have 12. That's a 16 minus 4. Minus the 8 over 3. So minus the 8 over 3. And from that, we're going to subtract now on here the negative 32. So we've got negative 48. So negative 48 plus the 64 over 3. And we can go ahead and show that that is exactly the same as the 36, which we can see just here. You might want to tidy each of these up. Um, I suppose with the amount of marks on offer, you might want to show the workings. But that now gives us two different ways that we can do the second part of the question. So I found the area under the curve between the two points when it meets and subtracted that away from this rectangle. Or I could have just said, well, I'm going to do now the line minus the curve as the curve is below the line when uh, in this interval that we're interested in. Either way around, we end up now with 36.